Hello, and welcome to Goaholic Late Night with Captain Sid. Welcome to the show. I have three Goaholic Femme Fatales. I have a German, a Scotswoman, and a Filipina. Welcome to the show, ladies. How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I feel incomplete. I mean, other than the fact that I'm dreadfully sober. <laughs> a Scotswoman sober? <gasps> Crime against humanity. Uh, Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yay, sober camp. Anyway. Well, moving yeah. right along, ladies. High five. <laughs> Let's move into Chosen Fate RP. Uh, I believe we have someone here who's exquisitely, intimately involved with this RP. Intimately? Ah, oh, I have love children with it. It's great. Oh my gosh, I created it myself. I'm not biased, not at all. Nope. That is nope. a good trait to have. Tell me more yes. about Chosen Fate. Well, it's the whole idea of it is it's based on personality and the idea that the powers choose you, not the other way. Yeah. Wow. So based on a personal level rather than just picking something at random. Ah. Outstanding. Where can we find this RP? Uh, you can find it on the mage, right under fantasy. It's blue and pretty. Outstanding. Much like our German lady's eyes. Alright, moving uh, on. We're moving into the, uh, what was it? Founders Era? Uh, Harry, Harry Potter Founders, Founders Era. Era? Who here yeah. can tell me best about this? Uh, best about it? Yes. Who's the biggest Harry Potter nerd here? Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, basically, Founders Era is set during the basically founding of Hogwarts. So you have the four main people that started it, yeah, running the running the school basically, and it's kind of medieval. You know, yeah. I once played a D and D game where I wanted to parody Hogwarts, so I named it Hog and Bottom. Oh, yeah. and the headmaster was a bit of a. Uh, Child enthusiast, if you will. Oh. Uh, and he that's... spoke exactly like this. Oh, we got some wizards here. Oh, oh that's, that's awful. Always. I've always that's awful. That noise. Oh, I know. Oh, and oh. it was it was really good because we had a person with a gnome in the party. They basically look like oh. children anyway. So it was a eventful day. That sounds like an awful... <laughs> so I'm, I'd be wrong if I was to say this is not in just fantasy, right? It's not on the main page, or is it a, a sub-form? It, it's in the it's sub in oh. pages. <laughs> it was the main page once at a time. <laughs> it's not anymore. It it's got really good uh, Best Fantasy of 2012, right? And Best New Roleplay, too. Really? It did. Mm -hmm. It did. Oh, it did. And then after that, it slowly kind of died off, which mm -hmm. is sad because there needs to be more wizardry in the world. See, Always. if they'd let me be a polyjuice oh. potion dragon teaching martial st stuff to wizards, I'd be more than happy to join, but I can't, so. No. Oh, it's still no. pretty active, though. Oh, yeah. So, so, so it, it is, is not dead. It's actually oh, pretty heaven. active. It's, not. it's just slow at the moment. Yeah. Well, for me. Yeah. That's that's like, how my it goes. Hasn't been able to... Like, look, I basically made Merida in it, and I want to kick some wizard ass, and it's not happening. I mean, yeah. it's <laughs> well, it's it's a nice turn of events with Harry Potter. I'm actually enjoying the sounds of this RP. Well, you heard it, ladies and gentlemen. Harry Potter, found a zero, chosen fate so far. Moving right along. Here, who here is uh, currently in the DC RP? Oh, I've been looking at that. Eddie, you can join. It'll be awesome. I I really want to. I'm thinking about making Black Orchid. I'm not joining this uh, RP in the slightest. But you're not like, like, it's like so much stuff to think of. It's it's. Yeah. I'm I'm afraid of joining because I was part of the last uh, Heroic Genesis game, Ooh. and I felt kind of like this small stigma that I was not up to par with the rest of my role playing. Partners, mm -hmm. what? mostly because I used a, a more or less obscure character that was tied in with the universe slightly by one shots. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm probably gonna take a back seat on that RP. 
Well, I feel you. Well, Hopefully not for anybody that is interested, I believe it is set up so that the universe is in DC canon, but up to... Oh, God, okay, what is it? Is it before? Oh, God, okay, what is the prison cut off? I can't remember. I know it's after, like, the death of Superman. So, oh, let me... I hate to get off topic, but Superman is such an asshole. I don't like him. <laughs> Here's what why. He? Because he dies and then he has the audacity to come back to life. Not, I don't mind that he came back. But it's the fact that he came back that so much shit happens to all his supposed friends because he's that big of an asshole. Okay, so he's a modern day Jesus. Got it. But you came back, you created Black Lanterns, creating the Darkest Night, nearly wiping out all life as we know it because Black Lanterns are basically death. Your buddies are dead, uh. they come back as Black Lanterns. You, sir, that are an asshole. Yeah. No, yeah. The DC game is, the DC is set before that. Well, yeah. he's still an asshole because he came back and started that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he unintended consequences. Ba -da -ba. That's but, uh, pretty much his entire life. Oh, no, planet's destroyed. Sending you to a planet where you'll be a god. He's even still <laughs> a dick. Mm. I don't know. I have fun with Superman. Uh, Batman is my biggest. Uh, oh fan. yes, Batman um, is the best. Batman or the Flash? Okay. I like I like the Flash myself. Well, here's the thing with Batman. Like if Batman was by himself, he'd be the most boring son of a bitch. I mean, but the thing planet. is, though, is he's the only reason he's the only one. Like if you take his money away from him and his gadgets, he's still a ninja. Uh, it's true. Well, yeah. Bat no, no, no. Here's like, I really think. No. Study and shit, and I. But as much as I like Batman for character study, half the reason he's an interesting character study is because everybody around him is crazy. Well, that and he has all their weaknesses compiled on a disc, so it's like, yeah, don't fuck with me. If you do, you will meet your end. It's like, ha ha, like, I'm Superman, kryptonite bitch in a bullet. Ooh, yeah. are you thinking wait, wait, about wait, wait. Uh, no, Justice no, no, League Doom? No. Yes, I am. Batman would not. See, see, there was also a time when he became a Yellow Lantern and a Green Lantern. His unwillingness to leave Gotham is what not let him be either of them. <laughs> because And uh, he also lost the Green Lantern ring because he was too willful. That's, that's his superpower. He will not stop. Unless he hits, like, ultimate depression, then it's like five days later he's back on top. It's like, you know what, I was depressed... I wanted to kill myself, and I was like, I'm fucking Batman. And I thought, what I mean, would he Batman was do? buried with his parents, and he punched a hole in the top of the coffin. With car and keys. dug his in way his... out. Yeah, with car keys between his uh, fingers. How bad would that hurt? Metal digging into your fist as you look. pound, like, hardwood? Come on now. But, uh, oh, my God. Oh, kind of fun thing is I'm trying to work on uh, an, an arc storyline a little bit with, um, <clears throat> Dorncoon with uh, the magic users in the DC universe. Mm -hmm. So more people would want to jump on that, that would be awesome. Because right now it's just like Black Alice and Constantine. Which is mm -hmm. interesting, but there needs to be more people. <laughs> I can't join because I have no idea how to play any of the characters appropriately. Minus the one I oh, have that... from Genesis. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, I'm trying to think of anybody you can do with I, I know, it's hard. It's like, Sid, uh, you could be the guy with the mop. Okay. Oh, aw. No, that's not at all. Although, there's the, you can create your OC in the DC universe, if that's mm -hmm. what you do. Uh, I don't really want to. <laughs> that's a lot of work, and I have to think of intricate plots, and, you know, everyone's an emo in the DC universe. Everyone's, everyone but Superman has a family that has died. Everyone in the JLA has no family. But Superman bitches about his dead family, but he still has a human family he goes to Thanksgiving with. What hey, the fuck's up with that? That's not entirely true. I play Poison Ivy in DC as well, and not an emo bitch. You, ah, oh, that's cool. Uh, uh, you and Poison Ivy, uh, that, that just. Screams oof. bad news for everyone? Yes. Uh, that nope. just, ooh. Because it makes all the sense. Mm, you just got shivers. I would fertilize her plants any day. Aww. With great aim and near come on, I gotta be respectful. Uh, respectful. I'm sorry, we're having a good time. <laughs> no, it's cool. There's just 
supposed to be oh a meeting with like, the Batman villain as well in DC. Oh. Right now, it's Harvey Dent and Poison Ivy in a room. So it's just like... Uh, that sounds pretty... You know, if you girls are nice throughout the entire show, I will give you all a five-minute segment of me doing my Chippendale routine I used to do back in 09. Oh. I used to be a Chippendale. Fun fact. Good for you. Good for you. I that's made money, fact. except women three times my age would stuff money down my trousers, and that's not fun. Trousers? Well, I mean all proper? Well, I had, like, chaps. It was a banana hammock. It was, we but all I, had know. I had chaps on. We know. I was a sheriff, damn it. <laughs> I was a sheriff oh, on the stage. You. It was. 300 bucks is nothing to sneeze at at night. I, I would not sneeze at it. No. I mean, if it wasn't for the fact that I used to make something like that an hour, but we're not going to talk about what I had to do for that. What did you do for that? I'm intrigued since we're off topic. Aww. Sarah. <laughs> dirty secret. Oh, no. Hey, not Sarah. Really, I... Sarah. Yeah. yeah, I will save you this one time and this one time only. Tell me about Nightwatch. Oh, oh. Yep. <laughs> everyone in Burn. We'll talk about it later, okay. Maddie. <sighs> later, later. I'll tell you about my race. Anyways, uh, Nightwatch is a big paranormal ghosty RP where there's different legions of people trying to either like fight ghosts and demons and shit, or people are hard demons. They're trying to take over the world. Mm hmm. So, do you, what character do you play in there? Oh, goodness. I play two, actually. I'm the head of the Black Mages, like, spy agency kind of thing as Gypsy Witch. Yeah. And my twin is uh, Elizabeth Bathory. The Blood Queen <laughs> or Blood Duchess or whatever? Yeah. So, basically, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of like a necromancer. Sounds like it. From her name. Yeah. I have that in. You have what? What? A platinum of true sight. Ooh. And I'm higher. Do you say platinum? Is that how you say that? You mean paladin? That's how I say it. That's how I say it. A platinum? Don't tease me. Did, a platinum. So you wear plaid? <laughs> In a platinum. In a den? <laughs> I would imagine an armored platinum. That's what I would imagine. I'm Actually, thinking of the armored platinum. I would have a king of like. Right. Plaiding, like literally the verb plaiding. Really? Like I went to Plaid. the Bahamas on a mission trip, and what they would say when they wanted to braid my hair was, "Can I plait your hair?" and stuff like that. That's what they would say. I was, I thought she said plait. Nice. <laughs> plaiding. So we also have a priestess oh, with us, a German priestess, of I don't know what. Plaid in the true sight. Who uses a bladed bow? A bladed bow. Interesting combination. That's really fun. is. Oh, it right. has two daggers. Normal daggers on her. That's fun. Ironically enough, I play this particular RP myself. I am a Hell Knight. Slowly regaining some form of sentience from being a slave to uh, evil wizard, wizard Rasputin, played by Bix. Bix does good. Yes, he good does. Character. However, his Bix Rasputin... His Rasputin is uh, remnants, reminiscently to uh, Richard from Looking for Group. Ooh. And all his weirdness. Yeah. But I like it. Yeah, that, that's not going to end well for him. It's funny, and I feel really bad for his character, because I'm just like, oh, you're just going to keep flirting with mine, and that's not going to end well for you. <laughs> I have this worst feeling that I'm going to end up in this weird like triangle where she's trying to get him to kill me, and then I have to kill him, and it's just going to be nasty. And then I'm left why? Why am I not this roleplay? I don't know why you're not. You should be a hell knight. Why are you me. not, Maddie? That's amazing. Maddie, you should team up with me and help take over the world. Help, yes, help, help, that. help the Legion yeah. of Evil take That's over the world. Sister. And bring the... You should bring sister's coven. I probably should. She's been bothering me to do that. <laughs> I right. want to be in it. Moving on. Yeah. Over. Who here has heard of server RP? I've heard of whispers about it. By the oh, way, listeners, uh, Nightwatch is in the sci-fi section as a sub uh, mm -hmm. But what do you know of the RP server? Not much. All right, is that well, sci-fi? I believe. Well, That's the extent I mean, of my knowledge. It's about, 
My understanding so, is that, like, it's a bunch of video game characters all in one world. Oh. So it's like, um, so, okay, I don't understand. So it's like a text-playing MMO, like most of our RPs. Yeah. But, so it's, but it's literally like characters, okay. Video game for Hero Genesis. Okay. I think it's what it's a Hero Genesis video game world. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. All right, ladies and gents, you heard about Sir Ruth and Mysterious RP. You need to check it out. Maybe you'll okay. find a little bit of magic and mystery there or scientific discovery, you know, whatever floats your boat. All right, moving right along again is Storm of Swords. Now, this is an RP I've heard about and reported about a few times. And some people are salvating about this RP. Some are not. But uh, is, is my lovely ladies, is this something that you are all interested in? Um, I'm in this role play, and I'm actually kind of stuck right now because I have yet to get proposed to. I would, Just saying. But if that's I'm a shout out to Ken. Out. Yeah, it's a shout out to Ken. Uh, oh shit! <laughs> I was gonna say oh, I would propose, shit. but uh, mm. I'm just fresh out of a divorce, so I'm good. Mm. <laughs> I have yeah, I have game and gear, man. I know, right? Uh, for three characters. Yeah, well, my third one because my twin is dead. Oh. Bum, bum, bum. People die in that role play. I heard about that. This is a uh, based off of the uh, show Game of Thrones? Uh, yeah. It's off of Game of Thrones, yes. Is this like it's, a particular book or is this a specific... Um, Song of Ice and Fire. It is extremely political. Like, that's what this RP Wait, is you're letting, about. Wait, you're about letting people of mixed power. ages do political RP? But Force. This? No wonder this is gonna be weird. Killing and raping and marrying your sisters and becoming king and Wait, dying what? and ugh. What? I heard a lot of How West Virginia. Probably not in this. I would hear a lot of West Virginia right there. <laughs> Murdering yeah. your oh, own no. sister. Not enough meth. Not enough meth. Not enough meth? <laughs> not enough meth. No. <laughs> not enough meth or men? Meth. Meth. Methamphetamines. You know, Breaking Bad meth. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Not even once, Colo. Not even Not once. Not even once. No, Wait, nothing that here. Would be off. Mm. Not even, I don't know. It's, so, it's, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it from the Femme Fatales. Wait. Storm of Swords, lacking of meth. So if you feel like <laughs> making a chemist and finding how to make crystal rock, you, uh, you do that. <laughs> and uh, that'll be good on you. You'll find storm you'll find breaking storms over in the fantasy RP. Remember, don't okay. do meth. Drugs are bad. Not even once. Uh my last RP I have on here is At World's End. Is that the Kingdom Hearts roleplay? I am not hundred percent sure, but it sounds like something cheesy like Disney would do. Yeah. Uh, you look, let me look at its banner. Hold on, let me look at the banner. I'm oh, God. While she looks at things, I guess I'll very clumsily <laughs> hit on all the, 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 uh, I don't even want to start with that RP. I mean, I remember when that one Kingdom Hearts roleplay was up. That was a long time ago. Yeah, we don't talk about that time. I know. So, uh, Sarah, I, what'd you find? I'm looking at the banner, all like the stupid little heart symbol, and I'm just like, oh, is that one Gaia kid stuff? Uh, Let's just hope it's just something stupid. And What's the description say? Hold on. Uh, I don't look at anyone's RP as stupid. I am unbiased. Right, hold on. Unbiased. Oh, Maddie. Oh, I'm biased. Fuck. All right. <laughs> Let me read this. We love you, Sarah. Hold on. <laughs> Before the time of Sora. Before the time of Henry. All right, enough. I've heard enough. I've heard enough. I've heard enough. I've heard enough. I don't think anybody here can talk about that RP. To be honest. Why was that even on the list? No, none of us heard it. Well, none of y'all made the list prior, minus Purple and Sarah. Oh, well, I don't know. Oh, wait. Did Subtle put that on the list? Yes. Oh, Subtle. Oh, Subtle. I love you, but. Subtle so does not know that I'm despising Kingdom Hearts for destroying my one role model as a child, Sid Highwind. 
He smokes. Yeah. He does not chew on straw, and he does not wear some weird sash because he's fat, and yeah. does not build and fucking Luigi. gummy ships. He curses like a sailor and builds man ships, not this shit with lights and little shitty lasers. You put like missile launchers and shit on that. How dare they? Like flamethrowers, missiles that shoot flames yeah. out of the front. They explode right. in a smaller. You know, uh, can we talk about Naraka at all for a moment, or do we not Ooh. have Actually, I was going to move into the state of Kolo. State of address in Kolo. Uh, oh. oh, well. I mean, if that takes president. I, I honestly don't know. I would like to wait until President TFP is uh, high enough for this, but <laughs> it's time to uh, do my captainly duties. <clears throat> Kolaholics. Hey, fuck up. My fellow Kolaholics. This is your captain, Captain Sid. I'm here to talk to you about the state of Kolaholics. We are still in a very tight spot with donations. The pleasant things we get, ads that are not there anymore, a faster load page, a larger memory, and more little additions that Nevo can add. We need you to help us, to help you, to help us. Donate. We are three bills behind as far as I can tell. Unfortunately, I have failed you as the captain. I once shouldered the whole burden on my back. But situations and misfortune has plagued me thus far. It's the common person donating a dollar here or there. Maybe ten. But those dollars add up. And our bills will be paid. We just have to show persistence. There's a lot of you out there with passion and fury for creative writing. I don't know about y'all, but I would never like to go back to Co uh, Gaia ever again. That place is nothing but trolls and noobs. And fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. So, you heard it from the captain. Destroy Gaia and take their money and put it in our coffers and laugh. With full fidelity, as the small children of Gaia cry because we trolled the shit out of them and burned them in flame wars. Make me proud, Kolo. Do the captain proud. Alright, moving on to less depressing and bloodthirsty events. We have five birthdays this month. Jerry and Ron will be 11. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm joking. We don't do birthdays on this show. Fucking A. What? No, oh, my birthday's okay. coming up. What is your birthday? I felt special. What is your birthday? October 28th. I'm going to be 21. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh! I'm older than you. Maddie, I gotta take you to get wasted and then take advantage of you. Oh, Wait, yes, Maddie, you. you can't get wasted without me, Sarah. We made a pact. I thought we had something. Like you don't have to drink this stuff. No, we do, but this is different. But she's German. We all have to drink. Yeah. We're, all of us. We're, we're all white people. We have to. We have to get white girl wasted. I found out I have Scandi blood in me. I have to drink with her. She's Germanic. No, you don't. Yes, you I do. Just, you they're, can drink with her on your own. Your, your, your genetics have nothing to do with your want for alcohol. That's on you, buddy. No, that is something to do with my genetics. Actually, it has a lot to do with genetics. Uh, if you... I can't drink it's American totally beer. You're your own man. I like ale and um, mead and vodka and Jaeger and thick drinks. Psych major here. Oh, if you have an uh, alcoholic in your family, it's more likely to get passed on to you. As well as a smoker. The more you know. So as you heard, our Ooh, young little German today. lass, our Fraulein, is going to be 21. October 21. the 26th? 8th. 8th. Mm. Sorry, I have, I have tinnitus. Oh. Have a drink for me. I will. I will have many shots for you. 21. Thank you. Yay. All right. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's our show. <laughs> good night. Just... Farewell. And ladies, say good night. Bye. Just. Bye. Afawitizan, the nice little ones. Bye.